<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. I've made some improvements. Yay! Nice little rubber sheet for a trampoline here. Love it. It's uh, kept me amused for many hours now. Uh, as you can see, I've fixed my farm. It's no longer a uh, steaming hole in the ground. Uh, I've basically just tidied it up under here, stuck a relay on, pneumatic tubes off to barrels, nice little self-sorting system, P engines. Uh, this is by no means permanent. Um, like in that chest there's a whole load of stuff for a biofuel setup, a fermenter, distillery, stuff like that. But in the meantime, to tide me through, I've made a booze room. Hey. And uh, out here, up on top of my hill, I have some hideous experimentation on the go. This is specimen 72449. Uh, she's a female sheep, has been with me for uh, about two or three days now. Uh, I've been experimenting with ways to uh, get the wool off her, and this is what I've come up with. Uh, I'm probably not the first to have come up with it, it's quite an obvious solution really. It's a deployer to shear, shear her. Um, it is a transposer to pick up the wool and put it in the pneumatic tubing system. And underneath, we have a bud switch to read when the grass turns to to dirt because that's when she's eaten and uh, grown her wool so yeah I want to expand this because I think it's a really good idea and if I have a few more um, I should be able to get a fair amount of wool uh, what do I want the wool for? <laughs> well you're just going to have to wait and find out ain't you? right well before we get on with the uh, the horrors that will be the mass sheep oh, it can only be described as torture really uh, I'm going to start off the, the first bit of this uh, fermentation process because I'm getting a lot of saplings and it's getting annoying having to run down and fill up this ash, uh, this um, peat farm all the time not to mention all the, the ash that comes out of it uh, self see. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, first things are that first I'm going to throw a fermenter down now my plan here is to use this, which is called a restriction tube, to try and convince the uh, saplings to go in the fermenter rather than go in the the barrel, unless they have to go in the barrel because the fermenter's full. At which point they go in the yeah yeah. I think you get the idea, right? Um, I also, if I remember correctly, need water, which means stone waterproof. Ah, uh, no, is it stone? Is it cobblestone? Oh, who knows? Okay, before I do that, let's <coughs> set up two quick other things. First is the ever present need for power. Oh, I left it in my bag. I do like a good rummage in my sack anyway. Right, and then I'll have a biogas engine powering this for now until I get all the way up to biofuel but that's the next stage can't be bothered to do it all in one go I wanted this one in my sack biogas engine there we go we'll go that pointing down it's a horrible nasty hack but it will do for now and then I can put a lever there to control buff do I have my energy cell on me? No. Right. I'm missing a few things that I need for the next bit, so there's going to be a, a, a bit of a cut, and now I should have all the stuff that I magically need. Right. So I just had a little bit of a tweak with the settings, <coughs> and I've come up with this. Um, it's just a little round system. I think it should do well. Um, and I've got this hideous power cable here, because obviously the whole point of it is to power my farm. Um, so if I just run these in here like this uh, and then throw down this to kick start the process yeah ah, I know what I've forgotten um, I've got a lever, can I get down there? I can, look at that okay and then that to get that going yes Yep, there we go, sweet. And then hopefully I can do that. 
Who knows whether that's going to kick out enough? Five megajoules per tick. Sounds like a lot, but that's a big, old, big old farm up there. Hmm. Well, I'm going to let this run for a bit. Um, during this time, I'm sure you'll see me working on stuff out there with the sheep because I do love fiddling with sheep. And I'll uh, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, any minute now we're going to start watching this skeleton burn. Ah. <laughs> right, well I thought I'd take you on a little bit of a journey. Ooh, let's pop them up there. As I build the next unit for these sheep. Uh, as you can see I've got an awful lot of items here. Um, all of these necessary to make this thing work. Um, to its highest performance anyway. To, 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 yeah. Um, Right, so it's all about this grass block here. This grass block here is the one that I'm going to be listening to, in inverted commas, to um, know what the sheep is doing. Because whilst there are detectors in railcraft and stuff, I'm not sure if any of them can pick up the wool. Uh, so this glass here is to protect the grass underneath. Yeah, um, It was happy days when I figured out that grass could grow underneath glass. Um, yeah, so that keeps it all nice and protected because grass will only grow one block sideways, including diagonals, which is good. So any any adjacent block, um, one up or three down, I believe was the stats. Now, to make this more efficient, I could have thrown gra grass around here, but I thought that was a little bit minging, to be honest. So I went with this. Um, it, it grows quick enough. Um, Dolly's had no complaints. Uh, right, so... Uh, transposer now let me just double check because there's a cross side and a circle side and that's the way around we want to do it awesome and we put a deployer down there um, in my sack which I should never really take out of my hotbar really I use it all the time uh, we can use my personal set of shears to make that work and then we also need to dig down here um, oh. And I've messed up a little bit because this needs to be a different type of block. There we go. Right. So, down here, we're going to pop this down. Now, this is the, the piston that's doing all the, the block update detections. Uh, like bud switches, they're a fairly standard thing in uh, normal Minecraft. Um, yeah. So, uh, like, there's loads of advices, advice on bud switches out there. Um, a lot of people do a lot better at explaining it than me, but uh, you're stuck with me, so um, yeah, bad luck people. Uh, run that up there, now the, the point here is this will be pushing down like this to cut off the signal. Um, I've just realised I've got no wood with me, hang on just two seconds. Ta-da! Back with the stuff and the knowledge that I've made too many uh, oak logs and I need to upgrade my barrel underneath my farm. But I'll do that later. Right, I'm going to replace that with wood because it looks better. Uh, shift click that. Sweet. Uh, that one's just a normal block. That block here is one of those. Now, the fancy bit comes up here. Uh, right, first. Um, if you are going to do this, make sure you put this repeater down. Um, if you don't have a repeater, it pushes in and out, in and out, in and out, and just kind of... I'm sure we've all seen pistons flitting it. Um, I know I've seen them mess around a lot. Uh, is that the one I wanted? That's not the one I wanted. Um, so, the point with the bud switch is we're going to power this one here by redstone here. Now the reason we do that is because redstone updates um, two blocks, like for anything to change something needs to tell it to update, whether it's a bit of grass or a random tick or yeah, something needs to tell it. Now with redstone what it normally does, it goes right I'm updating this one, now I'm going to update the one next to me and then the cycle starts again. Right. But pistons can be powered from three blocks away. Now this is because like you have a piston, you put a block next to it and then you want to power there. But if it's the redstone's updating, and this isn't a block that tells the next one to update, then the piston's not actually going to be on, despite it thinking it's on, if you see what I'm saying. Um, and that's how bud switches work. You, you, you exploit that. Um, so that when something around it, um, a block changing its state, hence block update, um, 
then that'll tail the next block to fire, well, the piston to fire and change the system state. Right now, to make this work, we just need to pop the bud, just like that. There we go, and that's how you know it all works fine. Now the grass should spread over there nicely. Um, I might turn this all into one complete power source along the side there. Um, just for looks more than anything. Okay, and then we pop one here. In fact, we're going to pop a couple here. I'll leave that open for the next specimen number to come in. And that just about wraps us up. A um, few pneumatic tubes, which I do not have on me again. Let's just check my end of pouch, see if I was clever. Ah, look at that. I was clever enough. It's a, a rare feat, but I do do it occasionally. And I'll pop that, that. And then I'm going to have a line going down the back here. Probably to a barrel. But yeah, I'm going to replicate this out go catch myself some new specimens um, I'd like some sort of mail order system but there isn't so I can't and, uh, I'll get back to you when the builds complete I'm, I'm hoping that I'll be able to look down here and go whoa that's a lot of sheep but I am probably gonna get bored well 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 before that alright guys I'll see you in a bit and as the moon sets I knew that felt far far too smooth I missed a little bit look that one there which is why we had to have this as a half slab. You see the way that it goes into the block? This was a normal slab, uh, as demonstrated on this side here. It would have just turned and not gone into the block. See that? Um, so, you go a half slab there, and then you come up here and you put that down on the uh, for all the way for four, so there's time for the wall to be sheared, hit the floor, and then picked up by the transposer. Yes. Yes, exactly like that. <laughs> um, right, sorry for that little amendment. Um, I'll probably be off doing something a bit more fun than just building something in a second. Um, I'm not sure what that's going to be. Um, I, I hope I'll do well. Bye. Hey guys, bad news, I died, I lost all my stuff in lava, I did I did the cardinal rule, like, I was coming along, there was a block here, I was like, oh, I need to get down there, dot dot dot, fell into lava, oh my god, what a noob. Thankfully, I put everything in my ender pouch, so I'm going to sync this one up with my chest, and then all will be good. But before that, I think we should go sheep herding. Um... To be honest, this is probably just going to be a random montage of the best bits of this because it's going to be lots of me running across maps trying to find uh, white sheep because you can dye wool white but you can't change it. But Well, I suppose you can with a minion stone. But uh, yeah, that, that, that's my thinking there. Um, I've set up three more tanks other than the one that was uh, first constructed. I've got my, first, uh, my next specimen in. Uh, let's go find three more. Hmm. Now I know there's a uh, small herd out this way, though I have started uh, selectively taking from them. Oh no, oh no, it's nearly night time. Oh well, nothing like a night time adventure, especially when you don't even have your weapons on you. Hmm, well this was a well thought plan, but there, there's a sheep and there's another one. Um, and there's a cow. <laughs> Oh, well, look, this is going to be really easy. Oh, that's a nice world hole we got to go on the go there. Uh, right. Now, the problem here is going to be getting the sheep without the cow. Cause, oh, well, I'll dump the cow in my uh, in my field. Why not? You, you. Uh, and you up there. I say, old boy, why don't you come down? Uh, oop. Yeah, break that. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, when did I forget how to play this game? I'll break that one just to go around anyway. Right, you, come this way. Oh look, there's so many of them. Right. Hey, well, there's, there's the three of them. Ow. It's going to be a long, boring walk, I think. So we'll probably cut back to me over there with these at the top of the thing. I don't know. 
I say that, but here's the sun setting, and I'm still not any closer. Uh, now I do know I can take them down and under that. I might just have to do that. You will leave no one sheep behind. Come on. Come on, you. Out of way. I bet he's still not going to run away, run away far enough. It's really quite annoying because the reason I've gone mining is for uh, redstone. Because I'm having a real tough time of it this time trying to get the redstone. Oh wow, what's happened here? Trying to get the redstone at the moment. Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Right, well you've gone down. You're down there. Let's see if we can set this up anyway to get these guys moving. Hopefully we can set up a nice flat platform for him. Should have probably gone with uh, the non-gravel option. <laughs> oh well. Uh, that one. Yeah. Come on. Sweet. Right, well that's two of them. There's the third. Sweet. That, that could have been a lot more hassle than it was. Now we have the real troubles. Oh, oh, look at him over there. He's going to be. Oh well, we'll come back and get the other one because that's the smart way to do it. Right. I love the way they can walk along these little bridges, but like that will just mess them up. Right, you in there because you because you're stood. In fact, no, no, come all the way down, all the way down. There we go, and we just shuffle this in here. Notice how I put the wall, wall floor down for this? I, I had such a bad time but trying to get that other one in that I thought I'd do something a little bit cleverer. Okay, let's try taking that out. I've got a feeling this is more cleverer. <laughs> yeah, I speak good, I do. Oh, come on, little sheepy. Hey, right, and then we pop that on there, and we go, you, come this way. Oh, dear. There we go. Car, trials, tribulation. What is up with you? We've got some weird extra dimensional sheep here. I come from the future to save your pathetic life, earthling. <laughs> Wow. I wish I had powers like that. Oh. Oh, now this is no fun. <laughs> you win this time, sheep. <laughs> hey guys, hope you like my little sheepy adventure. Uh, to uh, shed myself of some of the stress, we have a go on my trampoline. Woo! Oh, I love this thing, I really do. Um, first, let me gush about ender pouches. Oh my god, look, all the stuff that I would have lost if I'd had this on me in the lava. Ender pouches, worth it. So absolutely worth it. But yeah, my sheepy adventure. As you saw, uh, I got pretty pro at putting these sheep in rather tight spaces. Um, the, mas the machine is completely finished, as uh, shown by all these... Uh, Naked sheep? Why have I filled a shed with naked sheep? Well, that's a bit creepy, really. Uh, anyway, yeah, the only thing left to do now is to put a shell on this structure, um, which is the bit that I don't do too great at. I mean, if you look around, all my buildings are a bit... I mean, like, look at that one. What, what, what the hell have I done here? Um, yeah, it's not, it's not great. But I know that I want to make some sort of uh, industrialised, nasty factory type setting for this because it looks like it's an industrialised, nasty type factory. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I want like some sort of strip lamping or stuff. Like I like I love this uh, harsh whiteness. Um, I, I really want to keep hold of that. Let's see if I can use that in other areas. Um, Hmm, yes, maybe some sort of automatic door, so when you open, yeah, I do, I do enjoy a good automatic door, uh, I'll think on that. 
But yeah, this is just really letting you know where I'm at, as it's quite a, a, a quiet point of the, the video. So yeah, I'll see you when, hopefully, I put a shell on this. Well, I said I was rubbish at building, and there it is. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was going for industrialised and I've ended up with uh, industrial park, so yeah, um, at least the first word's right, yeah, huh? no, okay, well, anyway, the, 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 the machine is doing what it's doing, the building isn't too bad, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that, um, and that wraps up this project, so, um, Aside from throwing in a little door to go downstairs. Mm, yes, well, other than that, this project is finished. Um, I will see you guys on my next one, which will probably be sorting out the soil issue with my farm. Though, if the past is anything to go by, that will just be an on-running thing. Um, every episode, you get to watch how the progress goes a little bit. Great, hey? Something to look forward to. Uh, right, I'll see you guys next time, and thanks for watching.